of any reason why Jesus wouldn't appear to say Pilate or maybe Caiaphas in the yes. All right. So we have a question here for Dr. William Lane Craig, a favorite here on this channel, who once again is making vertical videos out of horizontal videos in a way that I don't understand, but that's fine. He's probably not doing it himself. This is probably someone on staff. The question is, why didn't Jesus appear to Pilate or other rulers? Hmm. Reasonable question. That would have solved a few things. Yes. And I think the reason is because the resurrection appearances were not intended to be proof that Jesus was risen from the dead. What? William Lane Craig, defender of all things Christians, writing a systematic theology, including debates with good people and also with me on the historic historicity of the resurrection. He just said that the appearances of Jesus were not intended to be proof that Jesus rose from the dead. And yet, Acts chapter 1, verse 3, after his suffering, he presented himself to them. So this is, again, the start of Acts. So this is between when Jesus rose from the dead and before he was ascended into heaven. After his suffering, he presented himself to them and gave many convincing proofs that he was alive. The Bible seems to think that he was there giving proofs, these appearances of proofs. Dr. Craig, now, they may be referring to miracles, but those are, again, just, I think, like eating the fish and all that kind of stuff. He was just hanging out with them to give convincing proofs he was alive. Not to throw the Bible back at you, Dr. Craig, but I do think you were mistaken here. He appeared to them over a period of 40 days and spoke with the kingdom of God. Yeah, so Acts 1-3 definitely puts these appearances in the category of proof he was alive. So maybe you have a different way of understanding that verse. That's fine. But the problem is, Dr. Craig, that when you give your minimal facts arguments, you talk about that Jesus died and that there was an empty tomb as to the facts. But your third fact is appearances to the disciple. And so what is it? Am I supposed to accept these appearances as proof that Jesus rose from the dead? Or option B, which you're about to explain, and I realize I haven't let you have your say yet, but so far, I don't think you're on very biblically sound basis on this answer, Dr. Craig. And therefore, there was no point in appearing to the members of the Sanhedrin or to Pilate. The reason for the resurrection appearances was to commission the disciples to the task of worldwide evangelism and carrying the great commission of Jesus to all the world. Could have happened. Let me know in the chat. Let me know if I'm missing something, Christians, because I think this is a bad answer by Dr. Craig. Even when I was a Christian, this is a bad answer. There's no reason Jesus couldn't have set them up for a commission before he died. He knew when it was coming. He could have just clearly said to them, okay, I'm going to get killed on the cross, and here's the instructions of what's to happen afterwards. So in a few days here, Shannon's mom is going to become a, come and look after her our pets for a few days. Now, we can anticipate in advance all the thing, all the instructions that we are going to need for, uh, for doing that. This seems like trivial that Jesus could have given them these kind of instructions before he died. So this was not a, God can choose to do it however he wants, but that was not, that's not a great answer that Jesus necessarily had to spend 40 days with them to give them instructions. That doesn't make sense. And again, that contradicts Acts 1-3. So this seems like a very post hoc rationalization for a very good question as to why didn't Jesus show himself if he wanted more people to accept that he was alive? Why didn't he show himself pre-ascension to people who weren't predisposed to doing that? Now, people always point to Paul. Well, Paul didn't believe, but that's after Jesus went back to heaven. So that's either if Jesus did come and see Paul personally in his human body, that was the second coming, not what's the rapture that may or may not be in the Bible. We should have to be the third coming then. So no, Jesus, as far as we can tell, didn't appear to any skeptical people before his ascension to heaven. Why not? It's a great question. Now, one might say, hey, everyone he appeared to became a Christian. Fair enough. But some of those could be people who we knew in a, who we knew prior to the death were skeptical. As far as I know, we don't have any of those. Not a good, not a bad question. Terrible answer. And so that's what he does when he appears to them. He recommissions them. He, he restores Peter, who's fallen. And he gives them the commission to carry this message into all the world uh, and to make disciples of every nation. And so that's why the appearances are principally to his disciples to commission them for this task. Okay, that's the end of that video. So as far as I can tell, that's entirely post hoc and a terrible answer built for this, for this one circumstance to give an answer to this. But however, if I start using my videos every time, Dr. Craig goes through his regular resurrection arguments. And maybe I should. Maybe I should play this. Play a little clip of Dr. Craig saying, well, the appearances weren't to prove he was alive. They were for instructions. So, but yet you're asking me to accept that he rose based on those same appearances that weren't intended to be proof. 
I don't know, feels like perhaps a poorly thought out one time question, but let me know in the comments. What do you think? Did you get it right? Get it wrong. All right. We love Dr. Craig on, on our channel here.